Well, you are storing energy in a fuel, okay? And we want to store clean energy. So if we can convert, for example, CO2 into carbon monoxide, when we go back again to CO2, there's no net consumption in, in the carbon cycle. We haven't got a dirty fuel. If we split water and make oxygen and hydrogen, again, we're generating a clean fuel. Now, why do we need fuels? It's because we, 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 if, we, if we produce electricity by solar energy, you can't store it except in expensive, cumbersome batteries. You can store electricity in hydrogen because you can feed that hydrogen back into a fuel cell and get electricity back out again. So there's a great attraction in using sunlight to produce a fuel which is, a, if you like, an energy vector. It's something we can carry around. Um, it's portable. We can pump it from one uh, country to another on a massive scale. As, as you know, you know, methane is transported across continents from from Russia to, uh, to Europe. Um, so clean energy, using, using that, that, that energy which is available from the sunlight, which is enormous. If you, if you consider how much energy falls in one hour from sunlight across the Earth, it's actually equivalent to all the energy uh, that mankind, womankind, uses in a year.